When we talk about modern artillery, one name that has made headlines in recent years is the HIMARS, or High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. Fast, precise, and deadly, HIMARS has become a symbol of the changing face of warfare, where mobility, accuracy, and smart munitions are more important than sheer firepower. The HIMARS traces its roots back to the late stages of the Cold War. At that time, the U.S. military relied heavily on the M270 MLRS, the Multiple Launch Rocket System, which entered service in the early 1980s. The MLRS was effective, but it was a tracked vehicle, heavy, and not always quick to deploy. In a world where the Army wanted lighter, more mobile, and deployable systems, a gap began to emerge. By the 1990s, the military recognized a need for a launch platform that was C-130 transportable, capable of moving quickly by air and road, and still able to deliver devastating long-range fires. Lockheed Martin was brought in to develop such a system. The result was HIMARS, a wheeled launcher based on the chassis of the family of medium tactical vehicles, FMTV truck. This design change was revolutionary for artillery. A system that could be flown into a theater of operations on a single cargo aircraft, driven off the ramp, and be firing within hours gave U.S. forces unmatched deployment flexibility. By 2005, HIMARS was declared fully operational. What set it apart was not just its weight and mobility, but its ability to fire the same family of rockets and missiles as the MLRS, giving it both flexibility and lethal punch. So what exactly can HIMARS do? At its core, HIMARS is a six-rocket launcher mounted on a five-ton truck chassis. But it's not just about rockets, it's about options. Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System, GMLRS rockets, with ranges of up to 70 to 90 kilometers depending on the variant. These rockets are GPS-guided, giving HIMARS extraordinary accuracy. In fact, it can land within a few meters of its target, an incredible leap compared to Cold War-era artillery. Army Tactical Missile System, atac mess missiles, which extend its reach to about 300 kilometers. This transforms HIMARS from a battlefield artillery piece into a strategic strike weapon, able to hit high-value targets far behind enemy lines. Looking to the future, HIMARS is being integrated with the Precision Strike Missile, PRSM, which will push its range to 500 kilometers or more, extending its utility into the next generation of conflicts. One of its greatest advantages is shoot-and-scoot tactics. HIMARS can arrive at a firing position, unleash its rockets in under a minute, and then drive away before the enemy can respond with counter-battery fire. This makes it far more survivable than older artillery systems, which had to stay in place longer to deliver fire missions. Its mobility doesn't come at the expense of firepower. A single HIMARS battery can deliver devastating salvos crippling enemy formations or striking infrastructure with pinpoint precision, and because it only requires a crew of three soldiers, a driver, gunner, and launcher chief, it is efficient and relatively low maintenance compared to heavy artillery battalions. HIMARS can also integrate seamlessly into modern command and control networks. Linked with drones, satellites, and ground observers, it can receive real-time targeting data, fire, and be on the move again before the enemy even knows where the strike came from. HIMARS has been used extensively since its introduction, but its reputation truly solidified in the 21st century. The first combat deployment came during the Iraq War in 2005. U.S. forces used HIMARS to deliver precision strikes against insurgent positions, command nodes, and fortified structures. Unlike traditional artillery, which often caused significant collateral damage, HIMARS allowed commanders to strike targets in dense urban areas with much greater accuracy. In Afghanistan, HIMARS proved itself again. The mountainous terrain made traditional artillery less effective, but HIMARS long-range guided rockets could reach Taliban positions hidden in valleys or cave complexes. During Operation Mosharak in 2010, HIMARS supported coalition forces by knocking out key insurgent positions. Its precision was so effective that commanders increasingly relied on HIMARS instead of airstrikes in populated areas. But perhaps the most famous battlefield usage of HIMARS has come recently, in Ukraine. Since 2022, the United States has supplied HIMARS units to the Ukrainian armed forces, and their impact has been dramatic. 
Ukrainian forces have used HIMARS to destroy Russian ammunition depots, command centers, bridges, and logistics hubs far behind the front lines. By striking deep into occupied territory, HIMARS has disrupted supply chains and weakened Russia's ability to sustain its offensives. One of the most notable HIMARS operations in Ukraine was the series of strikes against Russian ammunition dumps during the summer of 2022. Massive stockpiles that once supplied entire sectors of the front were destroyed in single salvos, leaving Russian units scrambling for resupply. Another example was its role in targeting the Antonivsky Bridge in Kherson, a key supply route. HIMARS fire rendered the bridge unusable, isolating Russian forces and paving the way for Ukraine's counteroffensive. The system has become so feared that Russian soldiers have been recorded referring to HIMARS strikes with dread calling them impossible to stop. Its psychological impact on the battlefield has been nearly as great as its physical destruction. HIMARS is more than just a rocket launcher. It represents the evolution of modern artillery. Instead of relying on massed firepower, it emphasizes precision, mobility, and flexibility. In today's warfare, destroying a single command post or fuel depot can be far more decisive than bombarding a front line. HIMARS gives that ability to commanders, often at relatively low cost compared to sending aircraft or missiles. Its export success has also grown. Allied nations like Poland, Romania, Singapore, and the Baltic states have adopted HIMARS, and more are lining up to purchase it, seeing its value in countering both conventional and hybrid threats. In Eastern Europe especially, HIMARS is seen as a critical deterrent against potential aggression. And with the precision strike missile entering service in the coming years, HIMARS will continue to expand its relevance. Capable of hitting naval vessels at sea, hardened bunkers, and mobile targets across hundreds of kilometers. From its development as a lighter alternative to the MLRS, to its unmatched precision and long-range firepower, to its starring role in modern conflicts, the HIMARS has proven itself to be one of the most effective artillery systems in the world. It has changed the way wars are fought, demonstrating that speed, accuracy, and smart munitions can outmatch raw firepower. As the U.S. Army continues to develop the precision strike missile and integrate HIMARS into a networked battlefield, its role will only expand. Whether in Iraq, Afghanistan, or Ukraine, HIMARS has shown time and again that it is not just another weapon, it's a force multiplier that can change the balance of a fight.